It's like, Mom, I feel terrible. I'm nauseous, my head hurts. Ryan, are you supposed to be in class right now? Yes. We are getting a new roof. It didn't even occur to me until just right before she got home that she might have a concussion. Okay, it's 111. Class drops at 115. She can't think that much because she has a concussion. It's a disaster. <laughs> it is a disaster. Okay, here we go. everybody and welcome back to our house this is pretty much what happens every day now that they're all at schooling from home if you guys were in school would you be doing this in the hallways yes <laughs> you would Boo, Nana, have you ever said that word in my presence again? <laughs> today's riddle or halloween question is what is a ghost's favorite fruit and Brennan answered a banana, and Ryan went ballistic. Because he thinks what is, it's what is dumb. That? What is a banana? That is the stupidest answer so, I've ever heard. Of course, the only response at all when you think somebody's being stupid is to just attack them. Why have you ever heard that? Ryan, are you supposed to be in class right now? Yes. Well, can you please go to class? It's communicable. Okay, you guys, the other thing that's going on today, the other very exciting thing. <laughs> if you can hear all the activity that's going on, look at that. Edward is like mesmerized. We are getting a new roof. Yeah. Can you hear them up there? What do you think, Edward? How is it not a for real? It's not. it's not a banana, but you are very close. Okay. How about a orange? <laughs> <laughs> I, I would give I would give myself up for that one. A orange. Oh uh, no, 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 no. no. Um. Dang it. Did you burn it? Yes, dude. Oh no. Oh no. What do you think it is? The fruit? Yeah. No idea. Okay, you guys. We'll let you know. Certainly by the end of this video, you should watch and see what it is. A baffle? No. Wait. All right, this is yeah, the... Yeah, something to do with boo. Yes. Uh, how's it not a boo there? Hey, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Uh, um, Ryan, this is not community wellness. This is solve the equation. This is math. What? No, it's not. This is so good. This is so good. It looks like. Looks like math to me. Wait, All right, you guys. These are the remnants of what's left over from Real last quick. night. Katie um, started to do renovations on her room, which is very exciting. So so far, she she and Molly painted the walls. You have to take a peek at yesterday's video and see. She moved her bed. So if you can remember her room, her bed used to come out right here, and it made it very very full. So she still has a lot of stuff to put away and rearrange. And we're getting new dresser. We're getting a new closet, but so far she's doing a great job. She is not in bed right now because they were making too much noise on the roof. And of course she is still recovering from her concussion. So she decided this morning when they started banging on the roof to move downstairs. So now she's sleeping right there. It's still loud down here, but not as loud. So if you guys um, know, Katie was diagnosed with a concussion last week. She went to practice, pole vault practice, and had um, four really tough landings, like whiplash, and then landings from way up high because she was on a taller pole. So on her way home from practice that day, she was texting me because she was driving with um, Carpool Arden's parents. She was texting me, she's like, Mom, I feel terrible. I'm nauseous, my head hurts, my eyes hurt. I can't like, can't focus on anything. And of course I'm like, well, what did you eat today? What did you like, I'm asking her all these questions. It didn't even occur to me until just right before she got home that she might have a concussion. So we called, when she came in, we called Mike's sister, who's a nurse practitioner. Um, because it was late at night and said, hey, these are the symptoms. And she asked Kate a few questions. She's like, yeah, you should go to the doctor tomorrow, definitely. But go to bed tonight. Don't take any medication. So we went to the doctor the next day and sure enough. No! Yes, did you freeze him again? Did you burn him again? No, that looks good. That looks good. 
Anyway, so that's her situation. So she's been down for the count for a while. She's seen a couple of friends just over the weekend when she got better, but she's trying to do no screens and that kind of junk. Of course, we bought a big TV in the meantime, but <laughs> she closed her eyes, wore her sunglasses. Anyway, so that's what's going on now. If you guys know what a ghost favorite fruit is, please um, take a guess. Comment below what you think that is. I really don't know what it is. All right, go back to school. Good afternoon, everybody. You never know what you're gonna find going on here at the house. She said it's not that hard to cut a shirt, and I was like, okay, I'll cut the shirt. Bad cut. Well, see, Brendan wants to cut a big t-shirt and wear it to the gym, like sleeveless t-shirt. So he asked his sister for help, but she can't think that much because she has a concussion. Ryan has since taken the sleeve. Ryan took the sleeve and put. And put it all over it. his face, which is nice. But Brennan, your cut is a little jagged. It's a little witchy. Yeah. You can do it for you. Yes, you do I, can, I can cut it for you. You poor thing. Well, one's yes. going to be jagged and one's going to be good. I just want to be very clear. How'd you get a hole in it? Do you get a fight like, with a gorilla? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It does look like you got a fight with a gorilla. It looked like a first grader doing it because it was like this. He was like... <laughs> oh, yeah, and his mouth was open. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, these are probably not the right scissors. I scissors with the right scissors. Right. Actually, these scissors are just fine. Exactly. It's, it was user, user error. <sighs> That's kind of satisfying. Yeah, I like the sound, don't you? Yeah. Wow, much better. <laughs> okay, so that, I don't know about the holes, but. <laughs> pretty pretty like, oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> You can cut. That's curling in, so that's okay. It's just this part up here, so <laughs> witchy. <laughs> I think we also have to cut the collar too, because it looks weird if there's a collar. And there's no sleeves. sleeves, okay. But only a little. And you only want the collar off? Off the collar, yeah. You're going to splash t shirt. Okay. Alright, let's see if that works out any better. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. We had to call expert medical. Sorry, I'm not to do myself. He's just learning how to use scissors. He looks. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. It, just looks, it looks too baggy. Yeah. Okay, I might have to do it on a medium. Okay, I'm gonna go get back on a medium. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't. You can go like this. Hold on, please. Do you want it this low on the side? <laughs> Is that right or is it too loud? Are you sure? I... All right. Okay. This is, this is a disaster. Right. So, um, one of the benefits of online school is that we get like a two hour break period in between our classes. Um, and you can really do that to do extra work, but come on, no one's gonna do that. Um, so me and my friend Charlie are gonna go fishing. So uh, I'll tell you what we catch and uh, I shall get a few pictures for you, get a few videos, you know, bring you along with us. So yeah, we'll see. All right. Oh, did you just do it? No. Oh. Oh my gosh. Else. Oh, that, that might have been me. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah, all right. This is the deal, you guys. Brendan is getting ready to submit his Naval Academy application. Okay. <sighs> Spelled wrong. Oh, that would be awkward. That would be awkward. Is that good? Trust it. Yeah. Ready? Yes. What's it say? Thank you for submitting your application. Let's go. Good luck, Brennan. Let's go. That's right. Mwah. Okay, here we go. Whew. Labored over that one, huh? So we're in a little bit of a dilemma because school starts in like 10 minutes and we're still out here and I just got this monster. I know it might not be a monster to you guys, but look at this thing. Hold up, hold up. Oh my gosh. I think he might be a keeper. I think keepers are 19 inches. We're going for striped bass. It's me and Charlie out here and we're just going fish for fish. And there's such a big feeding frenzy. We didn't want to leave. Ah, look at that huge fish. Oh my gosh. Okay, we actually got to go by. Okay, I'm running up the hill now. We dropped oh, Charlie's boat off. And I have to run back because he didn't have time to drop me off, which is understandable. We're both going to be late. There's five minutes to class. Okay, it's 1 
class drops at 1.15 and I'm running down my hill now. Holy crap. I think it was worth it though. I tried to get some video for you guys, but there was a huge feeding frenzy right there and we were like, okay, we can't leave. And then I got a pretty big fish. I think it was like 14 and a half. He was fat too. And then, uh, yeah, so I got to run in and then uh, I'll check in with you guys after mama yells at me. See and it's home after his workout. What are you having? You guys want to see something insane? Mm-hmm. Cue the egg. Cue the egg, you ready for it? Here we go. Okay, this is an over easy egg. Boom. <laughs> We're not finished yet. No, oh my gosh. A piece of chicken, two bottoms of a roll, an egg. Oh my gosh. Chick-fil-A sauce. Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> In it. You guys, today's question, Katie had suggested that we do Halloween riddles. What room do ghosts avoid? Come back later. Ryan got this correct. Hi, Ryan. What's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You got that correct. We're going to have you answer it correctly at the end of the video. Oh, yeah. I so people know yeah. our Halloween riddle. Hi, Edward. How are you, handsome? Did you wake me up in the middle of the night? Yes, you did. Yes, you did, you sweet boy. Mm-hmm. And look at he's lost. This is like his fifth collar he's lost. We have those breakaway collars. So he just and goes. He always wants treats. He never wants to do anything for them. Exactly. Do something. Get a job. <laughs> Ryan wants him to cuddle or something with him so he can get a treat, and he doesn't. He just comes over here and tries to open the door. Look at he open the door. Can you open it? Go, go, go. Come on, Edward. You can do it. Go ahead. I know. All right. Okay, yeah, of course. All right, I'll do it for you, Mr. Treaty Bonds. Here we go. All right, Brendan, you have your sangi? Oh, sorry, buddy. I'll get your treat in just a second. Let me say. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> nice. Is it good? Congratulations. All right, you get to eat like Brendan. Hold on one second. All right, you guys, Ryan and I are outside looking up. Ryan Aww. was trying to do his homework. I'm trying to work, and it's like bang, bang, bang. So we had to come see what was going on. Aww. They're putting the, look it. They take, it's so cool. They take the, um, let me zoom in here a little bit. They take the roof tiles, that guy's carrying them over, and he puts them in the pile. Then this other guy puts them on the ladder, and the ladder brings them up. And let's see, it brings it to the top of the ladder. Hold on. Okay. Oh, there it is. And that guy grabs it. And release, and ready, it's gonna go boom, I think. Oh, okay. Actually, it sounds louder inside, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> All right, everybody, we promised you the answer to this riddle, and Ryan was the first to get it. What room do ghosts avoid? The living room. Ta da! Nice job, Crazy Ryan. Job. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Nice. You, you got it. All right. We're going to have another one tomorrow, you guys. So stay tuned for our, our riddle of the day tomorrow. Oh, oh she's so cute. She's so cute. I'm sized. That is the fish that Ryan caught today. Put, put on the gram, dog. Anyway. How cool is that? Yeah. It's Why don't like, you put on your Instagram, it's like, goofball? It's like six inches long, man. No, it's actually it's huge. It's like 15. Oh. Ryan, is that what made you happy? No, gosh, you had a huge day today. What made you happy today, Ryan? You had a big day today. I went fishing with Carly during the break and it was absolutely amazing. Made it back here for class by like a minute. It was crazy. Um, and Dad was on like a call at the same time, so I had to like rush him and then be quiet. And then, oh, uh, and then we had, um, there was a charity event over at uh, the golf course that I play at. And, um, a lot of a lot of cool people were there and I got to meet uh, a lot of people or well meet them again basically and I also got this um pack of balls which is they're like titles for everyone so if if you know you know if you're a golfer you know um right. and this is this your is golf like, coach gave you those which yes. is really nice yes. oh sorry kitty I didn't realize like, you were down there I'm sorry, my love. prize possession right here yes and Ryan um was asked to make a speech in front of all the golfers. It was very nice. He did oh, a great yeah. job. Thank you. Yes, maybe I'll put a little bit of that in. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put a little bit of the speech in. Four score seven years ago. <laughs> I shot seven no, he's out. Oh. on this course. <laughs> That's so funny. You had a fantastic day. Congratulations. You got a lot of scores too. Yeah. Good job. 
How about you, Brennan? I ate a lot of food today. You did. <laughs> so my weight is probably going up. You know what made me happy today? What? You turning in your application. Oh, that, that was, was a facts. big that day. It will go down in infamy. That facts. I did forget about as that. As the that, day that, that Brennan turned in his Naval Academy application. Uh, what made me happy today was definitely, like I said, turning in, um, Brennan turning in his Naval Academy application Woo! and being with Ryan. I'm very, very proud of Ryan. I was out there golfing with him. Oh. Not golfing, at the golf course with him. And yeah. he was quite a celebrity out there. I don't want <laughs> telling you. And I'm glad that Katie's feeling a little bit better. She's still... She made me blend her smoothie today. You blend it for her? <laughs> yes. That was nice. Yeah, because she can't stand the sound. No, and, uh, she's acting like she's like paralyzed. Yeah, she's oh, really she not. She just has a concussion. Yeah. Okay. She's like, I have a headache. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she you guys are so mean. Anyway, okay. Actually, maybe I'll go in there. I stuck a pole in sleeping. the ground. Just take an ibuprofen. Exactly. Oh this is what feathers do. It'll be fine. So amazing. Exactly. Maybe, maybe a Flintstone <gasps> vitamin Alice she'll be out of her happy today. Dog. She's a cat. <laughs> Look. That's such a good idea. Dog. She's a cat. Maybe her dinner. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Burr, you want to take us out, Ryan? Comment below and make you guys happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.